All right, guys, I want to do a couple quick breakdowns on leash reactivity. I'm hearing a lot about it on forums, people having trouble with it. So we start with something simple, which is just getting the appropriate walking position. So Phoenix is a little reactive, very high prey drive, but we start with positioning, which is right behind or even with my knee. So if your dog can't walk like that with no dogs around, then you're not close to where you need to be yet. Yo. All right, so you see her general position. We do this by kind of turning and getting her to follow. Yep. Position. So getting her focused on your position and on her position is the first, very first step. Yep. Got it? That's step one. All right guys, step two of leash reactivity is understanding the mechanics of leash reactivity. So you, you have three phases, one, two, three, count them. First phase is scanning, where your dog is usually out in front of you, doing this, a lot of that, looking for trouble basically. So you've got scanning, you've got loading, which is kind of what Phoenix is doing right now. She's uh, not doing it towards a dog, but there's a squirrel. And she's telling me she's ready to go. The third phase is exploding. So that's when your dog is barking, blowing up, lunging, pulling towards whatever they're thinking about. Uh, and by then, you're pretty much too late. So the key to this is to interrupt early at the scanning phase. We get rid of the scanning, and then we feed information early in the loading process, whether that be an e-collar intervention, turning directions, uh, leash correction, whatever it is. Scanning, loading is where we try to stop it. It can be getting more space too, that can help you. Just stepping a few feet a different direction, crossing the street if you have to. But you want to interrupt at scanning and loading. You don't want to wait for exploding because it's already the bomb's already gone off. Got it? Good.